Hello everybody, and welcome back. I'm Count Christo, and this is The Wonderful Victoria 3, a game which I have been pleasantly enjoying. I must say, I think it's the best Paradox release in quite some time. I think I enjoy it more than Stellaris, actually. So I think it might be my favourite Paradox release since Hearts of Iron 4, which is saying something. I'd say. We've installed a few new mods since the last episode. Uh, for example, on the diplomatic lens, when we're trying to do a diplomatic action, it now shows us who would and who would not accept one, which is obviously something that should be in the base game, but will be very good fun. So I'm looking forward to making good use of that. What were the other mods I added? Ah yes, when you're building something, it will now show you on this screen uh, Ah, predicted profits per employee after the expansion. I wonder if that's always positive. It looks like it's always positive. Uh, also, how many unemployed are there in that state? How many peasants are there in that state? What's the current infrastructure balance in that state? This is a fantastic mod. Very much happy about that. Let me just check. I know I added more than this. What were the other, <laughs> what were the other mods I just added? Oh, and I do have a... Uh, I wish I put this. I think if you go to episode one of this series in the comments and the description, there'll be a playlist for my mods, and I will be being updated as I as I add more to it. There's the dense military tab, that's right, which makes the military tab look like this, rather than being all spread out with lots of portraits that no one cares about. There, no, none taken. Then there's also, yes, more spreadsheets. So I don't know where I actually access these. Uh, is it like in here? No. Is it in this? No, that's Wikipedia. Where did, where's the ledger? Spreadsheets. Okay, there's a spreadsheets tab. Here we go. So, this is the spreadsheets tab. So I can see market states. Oh god, it takes a long time to open markets. Holy heck, this is a good screen. This is a very good screen. <laughs> this right here is the screen that Paradox is too scared to make. <laughs> My lord. That is a screen and a half. Go to ports, build new ports from this screen. Oh. Oh, it's it's glorious. Okay, and you can choose, like, these are your, what is this, staple goods, industrial goods, luxury goods, military goods. You can choose your policy. Market good policy, no priority. You can go to protectionism like that. Uh, oh, no, sorry, it's encourage exports. That's protectionism. So we should be on protectionism on everything in DBR. I have no idea if that's a good idea. We'll, we'll dig more into, like, how, how what the best way to manage trade is in, uh, in future ones. But this is, I mean, wow, this is a fantastic mod. Okay, so we can immediately see um, what we're struggling with right now is uh, glass, hardwood, tools, electricity. So let's focus in on that. Right now we're building, it looks like it is correcting that somewhat on its own. A lot of glass works in there, but also a lot of coal and yeah, loads of coal. We're not that short coal. Um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, coal's only slightly overpriced. Uh, we do have a deficit, though. We would like to we would like to resolve these deficits as much as possible. But that is a heck of a screen. Okay, and then pops. We can break it down per pop type. Okay, I can't sort this one. And then if we look at capitalists, what's it going to show me? Just each capitalist pop within each state. That seems like that's going to be a nightmarish, a nightmarish screen, which is taking a understandably long time to populate. <laughs> Or maybe just broke the game. Yes, it may just crash the game. Encourage ex export should really just be called import tariffs. I just like how it infers the player's intention, intentions and is wrong. Sometimes you put it on encourage exports because I want to tax the imports and make tariffs. True. All right, looks like clicking on the capitalists tab of the pop screen of the more spreadsheets thing crashes the game. So fair enough. That's what you get with uh, cutting edge mod technology. I'm going to... Uh, do a quick reboot and uh, pause the recording for a second. Okay, so to catch you up, uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, things have been going well in America. We managed to split off New England, Louisiana from uh, the US. Uh, New England is our in our customs union. They are not an ally just yet, uh, but we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, the scramble for Africa continues apace. 
Um, we're doing pretty well there. I think we're, we're currently colonizing yeah, all but one remaining uh, little section in there. France has also been doing a fair amount of scrambling for Africa. And uh, France is our major rival right now. We're going to need to try and take some action against them. Um, the annoying thing that just happened is the Dutch East Indies got independent. Uh, which I'm not at all happy about. Um, we need to... We need to get them back, basically. We have a truce with them, though, presumably. For a little while. Uh, yes. And we have a horrible flag, because we're a republic. We have a truce until 78, which is... Yeah, I mean, that's bad. That's definitely bad. Oh, yes, that's actually another mod I should consider installing. We're still running at an okay pace, but... There's a mod that um, cuts down on the number of cultures, which dramatically increases the... Uh, performance in the end game, which is good. If we look at the actual cultures, is there a cultures map mode? Uh, yeah, culture maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of different cultures in this game. It cuts this down substantially. Um, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a good mod that we could we could do with getting, because uh, I really I don't feel like the culture. I mean, especially if we're just going to play on, what do you call it? Um, cultural acceptance it really doesn't make any difference how many cultures there oh yes and we've annexed uh, australia what is this button oh an add new urban building button that's nice it's handy uh okay so what should i do i guess one thing i could do is look at spreadsheets so this is a state spreadsheet we haven't looked at wow look at how different the wages are across different places wow they're so much lower in some places so our wages in our country vary from what is this? 31. How, how are wages derived? Okay, this is the average of, of all the people working in the area. So California has the highest wages, partially because of the very well-paid oil rigs. Um, so what we could do... Go away. What we could do is... What's this? My own migrant protection, right? I don't want to get attracted to Cameroon, apparently. Uh... What we might want to do is build new construction centers in these built in these places, right? So Senegal, Niger, all these all these colonial possessions of ours, which of course we fully integrated, um, because there's cheap labor there. Seems good. We've got some very good taxes. Home countries, yeah, we are spending quite a lot on our government administration because I built Big Ben, and. Uh, five levels of look at the size of freaking london man it's sprawling out and a bunch of it is being improved but yes we built big ben and the five levels of skyscraper here which cumulatively provide um 131 percent government administration throughput bonus <laughs> which is pretty good we do have some isolated regions which is something i should resolve oh we have tons of flotillas and things in reserve I got a bit sloppy at the end of the last recording session, it seems. A new admiral. We don't have an English admiral. Okay. Uh, he's charismatic, celebrity, explorer. We'll take the naval commander. And New England HQ guy. I'll take an innovative chap. And a Pacific Coast guy. Did all of my admirals get disbanded? Or something? Maybe maybe downloading a mod killed all my, killed all my admirals. Anyway. Da-da-da-da. Uh, yeah, I dramatically grew my navy because I noticed France was getting a bit bigger. So let's promote this guy a bunch. And England HQ, welcome to max level. And the New England guy, get leveled up. Okay, anyone still in reserve? Yes, five are still in reserve. Where? In the North Sea HQ. Okay, but there's only five of them, so that's okay. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of battalions in reserve, which are one in England, Great Plains. I think I'm going to leave some of these in reserve just to um, just to garrison places, but the England one needs another, another dude. So you can get promoted, and then I'm also going to add a... Oops, and then I'm also going to add a new general. Oh, yeah, sorry, I need to turn off my auto-clicker, because every time I click back, it's uh, <laughs> starting me to use my auto-clicker. Da, 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 da. Excuse me. Where's my where's my where's my old hotkeys thing? Open it up. Open. Ah. Oh, oh, hello. Open. 
Ah, it's on the wrong screen. There we go. Okay. Good. So, yes, new general uh, will take a experienced artillery commander. More offense, more mud chance. Sure. Uh, and then he needs some, some old promoting. Welcome to the show, Norman Dixon. Okay, so we've, dram we've just wildly increased the size of our army because I lost a war. Well, well, I mean, yeah, one little war we lost. Yeah, so that was a really silly war, by the way, the one against um, Dutch East Indies. So I was trying to annex them. Uh, they went against me with, like, no one helping except Siam, who we puppeted in the war. And I occupied all of Brunei and all of these islands and all of this area. And it was, oh, you don't control the war goals. What are you talking about? I control half the, the country. But you have to control, I think, the capital state when they declare independence, which I didn't know. And then we didn't invade by, like, two... I think we, we were landing a naval invasion. We were going to win the battle within about two days, and we got pieced out. <laughs> Which was uh, quite funny, I have to say. So the industrialists are a little mad at me um, because they don't like enacting universal suffrage. But the clout of the industrialists comes from, um, yeah, first off, votes in an election, obviously. But also, how do I see... The people who are in here. So yeah, providing... Oh, this is just the absolute numbers. But yeah, a lot of the capitalists and engineers are the ones supporting the industrialists. That's basically it. Whereas things like the trade unions have all the mechanists and still a lot of the engineers and a lot of the laborers. So once we bring in universal suffrage, I think the clout of the industrialists is going to go down a lot. Uh, we are hurting on manufacturing tax income right now. Plus, in order to change the tax laws, which we have done now, I think... We have, ooh, why is this screen so laggy? That's weird. Maybe one of my mods is, is breaking it, but yes, we've got, oh my God, this is so laggy. They may have, uh, one of the mods I installed may have broken things. Hang on, let me see if it's as well as laggy if I'm like zoomed in on the C. Yeah, that's really laggy. Are these laggy? No, it's just just this one. Anyway, we switched it to... Um, oh, no, it's still on per capita taxation. What? I thought I switched off that. Damn. Well, yeah, we must have failed the per capita taxation law. Um, but we had we have no income tax right now, is what I'm getting at. I could lower this. Actually, it would make, it would make almost no difference. But... Um, yeah, so we're gaining nothing from income taxes. <laughs> You should be able to see why. Like, there's, I don't know why the modifier isn't here. I also turned off all our consumption taxes, which have done absolute wonders for our standard of living. You can probably tell where I turned them off. Um, yeah, we're making no long, no money from that. Where do you see country modifiers on uh, on here? Are they in the outliner or the journal, maybe? No, monarchism is being stamped out. I could do a grand exhibition. Sure. What does that do? What do you mean we have nothing to show off? Gathering treasures on expeditions, researching technologies, increasing your country rank. Lose points by increasing your infamy. Done. Well, okay. We might fail this then. <laughs> Click on the flag. Modifiers. So... Do, 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 do. Uh, it's not here. Well, anyway, a modifier we seem to have, we do have at the moment, is minus 100% income tax rate. Um, because we got some events that I was using to try and... Um oh, hang on, timed modifiers, here we go. Yeah, so blood minus 10% here, minus 10% here, which stack to result in no income tax, because we're currently targeting 20%. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are, I don't know why this screen specifically. Is government lagging out? Institutions? No, it's just the law screen. Well, that's bizarre. Anyway, yeah, we've got some pretty good institutions, obviously. Um, I'd like to get a better health system. But yeah, we're working on universal voting, so I think it'll help me get some future reforms through. And it's on pause. Next time I see we have some construction capacity available, I may make use of it. But until then, I'm happy with the auto-expander. Speaking of the auto-expander, let's just take a quick check. Everything's still being auto-expanded? Yes. Oh, yes, and we get arcades now. It's going to make a bunch of money. We don't have enough people, apparently. But I'm not, I don't, not too worried about that, because I think that's probably just going to um, encourage some more migration. But yeah, all these should auto-expand. And gold mines, actually, sorry. Gold mines shouldn't auto-expand. Any gold mines that have room to expand, I'm just going to expand, because I 
can't imagine they're going to lose money. Uh, da, 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 da. All these looking good. Oh, yes, well, we should probably go to trying to reduce the amount of um, laborers in some of our plantations because we have some employment issues. And yes, our oil rigs, we have maxed out our available oil rigs. Um, I think we're still short on uh, oil. Oh, no, we're, we're doing okay on oil, actually. Good. Good stuff. Um, yeah, fine art. <laughs> we're doing very badly on. Sure, you know what? You know what? It's not a high priority, but I'll give you... Oh, no, they're already auto-expanding the Arts Academy. That's fine, then. Yeah, I'm happy with bourgeoisie patronage. Right, and we've got all these new barracks that I can set up. So, yeah, we are going to go with shrapnel artillery, motorized motorized renaissance uh ha, reconnaissance i probably don't want to do that because it takes automobiles and we don't have any automobiles but you need to switch to it and then off it to make it accept it and we yeah we don't have any opium so we're on just no wound dressing right now uh and again i need to do this and this okay good uh right so our railways do i want to move the government run? i think public trade is fine and we are going with steel passengers to get loads of transportation production, even though it hurts the infrastructure. And yes, we are going with electric trains. We need more uh, electricity. How, how bad is the pain for electricity right now? 44%, that's too bad. Okay. Uh, and what's the throughput cap we have right now? Textile mill should tell me. 41 from size 42. Okay, so it must be like at least 50, I'm guessing. So, actually, give me... Oh, yes, and we have a, a sun burning in uh, Ireland. If we take a look at the electricity screen, all the production of electricity in the entire world is taking place in Ireland right now. <laughs> so, power plants. Take it up to 50. And we're going to skip these straight to the front of the queue. Good. Good. Okay. And that should help with the price of power. Okay. And don't show that there. This does not seem interesting to me. Don't don't bother me with that. And yeah, as you can see, our radicals versus loyalist situation is pretty good. We have so few radicals, we don't have a single point of negative approval on an interest group from them. Yeah, the industrialists really don't like the universal suffrage that I'm about to enact. Which, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Elevating our situation. What does this require? Blister steel and hand assembly pr have to have more cash reserves and good l glass blowing. Okay. Oh, right, yes. I also need to open up my list of completely pointless events to delete. Which I will, which I'm maintaining on this. This, that, like, migration event is entirely pointless. So I'm going to uh, get rid of it. Pointless events. Rubber rush, gold found, gold lost, migration event. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh, we have up here to have 100 spare influence. I don't know why. I guess our chancellor's just really popular. Okay. In which case, we'll do another... Um, State action. We're encouraging industry, just at home. Uh, let's take a look here. Where has the highest industry? 35, 16, 32. Looks like the West Country wins that prize. Uh, so we will encourage manufacturing in the West Country. Good. Yeah, the uh, hydro plants are very inefficient on labor, but don't cost many resources, so you can just, yeah. Exactly. They're basically just people running on hamster wheels. <laughs> so we are losing quite a lot of money um, because of the whole no income tax thing. But we have a big reserve and I'm spending a staggering amount on construction. If we needed to, we could stop. So, uh, Oh, this is a proletarian revolt. I didn't notice that. Cool. So who's the, are you the proletarian revolt? Yeah, so let's take a look at you. Your republic with the trade unions in charge. They want to advance egalitarianism and defend the borders. Next country we're going to play, by the way, I was thinking about Qing. We're not going to do that. I want to play a country that's small enough that we can actually kind of actively manage the economy in a more intentional way, which I think would be fun. So one option is, I mean, Prussia is not that big, but I think 
the Netherlands would be good, just with kind of three home provinces and trying to industrialize them as much as possible. Now, France, do I have a truce with you? Probably do, because I recently fought a war against France and Austria over something or other. Truces. No truce with France. Okay, so, uh, yes, and how much infamy do I have? 63 right now. I should probably just let that go down for a while. Uh, they want secret police. They want to preserve wealth voting. Tough. Tough is my response. Uh, oh yes, and to annex the Raj. That would be funny. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're probably going to leave them independent. We do have all the bureaucracy we could ever want because we get, you know, 130% return on bureaucracy buildings in London. So we do pretty well there. Uh... Yeah, tech-wise, we're, we're, you know, ahead of the... We're producing it as fast as we can based on our current literacy. Uh, and I think we have our education... Yeah, almost capped out on education, which is pretty good. And yeah, standard of living continues to be pretty darn good. So people are very chuffed about the uh, increases in standard of living. Observers may appear committed. Hmm. Hmm. Splitters, we lose 15% chance, or 165,000 for 5% chance gain there. We'll just take the hit. Damn. Intelligentsia, you're meant to be the ones mainly backing this change, you geezers. I need you to counterbalance the industrialists, who are also in government. If I kick the industrialists out of government, would the chance of this passing go up? I can't, because they're in the same party. I need none of you guys are going to back this, are you? No, the armed force is just... Bumming around being royalists. Damn. Well, it didn't pass very successfully there, but we'll see. Oh, and it's a play against me that the game conveniently does not tell you about. Um, okay. It's me backing my puppet. Fine. Well, I will mobilize a, a small force. Go and make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Anyone uh, likely to step in? Spain may step in against me. Okay, well, if they do that, I'm definitely going to add some diplomatic plays against them. Uh, and Greece would aid me. Oh, yeah, so let's think about this with the new diplomatic lens. Uh, now that we know we can do actions and, and see who'd accept. So Greece would like to ally me. I think that seems fun. That might help me against uh, like new, hurt the Ottomans. We can resolve New England's obligation. I don't want to do that. We can do defensive pact. Hanover would accept. Oh, great. We can protect them from Prussia. Yes, please, by all means. We can embargo some people. I think I probably should embargo Russia and uh, and the Ottomans and, and Austria. I don't like them. Let's get some embargoes going. Uh, we can expel diplomats, which just prevents them from improving relations. Don't care about that. Uh, I'm improving relations with Austria right now. I probably shouldn't have embargoed them. Whoops, never mind. Let's rival them instead. Stop improving relations. <laughs> uh, protectorates. Presumably no one will accept becoming my protectorate. No. Other people we could rival. We've already done it to Austria. Italy, I'd like Italy to like me. So we're not going to rival them. If Spain joins this war against me, I might rival them. Trade agreements. No one in the world would accept. And we could take on various people's debt. But I don't really see the reason to do that. No one wants to be my tributary. We're not in a war, so we can't validate sovereignty. Cool. This is rather advanced since the last stream. Yes, I did various off-stream uh, gameplay. It will all be on YouTube if you'd rather watch it all sequentially. I wouldn't blame you. What is this? The Tildor Liberal Revolt against the Dutch East Indies. Hmm. Interesting. Russia is mobilizing. Hopefully not against me. No, Russia is mobilizing against Korkand. Okay. Interesting. Yankees are migrating to Victoria. Cool. We'd like more Diplo power than this. What am I using it up on? Oh, you use it up on having puppets. I didn't know that. What? <laughs> Paradox. Paradox. Why would you put that into a great big list of various nested... Just put it in one list. Silly goose. Okay, so the embargoes are quite expensive. I'm not... Oh, God. Alliance with Greece is 300? Sorry, Greece. I'm immediately going to end that alliance. Uh, you can have a defensive pact. How much does that cost? 225 still. No, I'm sorry, Greece. You're, uh, 
I have a declared interest, so I, I'll come to your... I promise I will come to your aid, but I'm not signing up to that. Okay, anywhere short on market access. Yes, loads of places. Let's do a... An insufficient market. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yorkshire, West Country, Lowlands. We're, we're regularly having to deal with that, uh, with that, but just because the, what did I say? Yorkshire, West Country, Lowlands. I think I said. Um, just because our industry is so huge. Um, so low market access. Let's have a go at that then. Uh, none in the home countries. We've been having loads in the home countries recently, so I'm surprised to see it's not there. But okay. Uh. Is this Senegal? Ah, oh, that's, that's an interesting placed thing there, isn't it? Uh, and Sierra Leone, likewise. I don't own anything in Sierra Leone because we were forced to give that up in a in a war we lost. Anywhere else with bad market access? Anywhere over here? Yep. The two levels, and then of course all these little uh, little islands. Fine, they can have they can have ports, I guess. I don't mind it. We clearly have the cash. Well, actually, we're losing massive quantities of money, so I guess we kind of don't have the cash, but... Oh, well. I'm not I'm not concerned about our financial health, to be honest with you. Uh, where else? Guyana? No, they're fine. Some of our uh, Caribbean colonies looking a little on the low side. Up here? No, all looking... All looking good. We've got some pretty good railways in America now. In fact, let's let's do that even better because I want to do some more wars against America and it will help if we have some big railways over here. Okay. Where else? Any of these places? None of these names seem that consequential in terms of market access. Although some interior African places do have some pretty good plantations that I don't want to don't want to suffer. Speaking of plantations, anywhere, yes, places like North Island don't have any existing plantations, so the auto expand doesn't have access to them. And some new millet farms and dye plantations. Yep, a couple of places with lots of space. Silk's making a fairly good, good amount of money. Get some of those going. All these places have, well, not that much employment available, actually, but... Just just get one, just level one of everything, basically. And then it can just auto-expand as profitable. I mean, those tobacco plantations are... They're creaming it. Fantastic. Okay, uh, and then likewise for resources. We've got some very, very large coal mines. In fact, actually, I don't think I want to build too many coal mines in other places because we have a uh, special modifier for big coal mines in uh, in Wales and Yorkshire and stuff. So should probably just stick with them. Rubber plantations. I think we are a bit short on rubber, but... Just places where they can grow really big so that they, uh, you know, they do over time. Seems good. I don't think switching, um, should we go to Steam? Do we have Steamers these days? I forget. Yes, we do. Uh, switching production methods shouldn't always be automatic, but you should be able to select something that makes it automatic for sure. Does Surfdom actually make you more money? It does, for the same number of people. Interesting. A huge amount more money. It's interesting. Probably by paying people less, maybe? No. Nice. Okay. Um, anything else going on I need to worry about? I don't think so. And yeah, now we've bumped up our influence a bit. Our infamy will go away faster. Which will be good. And yeah, I think those embargoes will help. Could also do something to the US. What would be a low infamy thing I could do to the US? I could abolish slavery, but that would probably be good for them. Oh yes, and we took a treaty port. Um... <laughs> in eastern Manhattan, or whatever it's called, Manhattan Island. I think this is Manhattan Island. No, no, isn't Manhattan Island just, like, here or something? I have been, so I should know, but... Anyway. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to look into. Are all my railways losing money? No, some of them are making money. 
But are they making money only because of the subsidies? No, these they're actually making decent money. And maybe I should unsubsidize a bunch of these railways. Like, why, why are you losing money? Oh no, okay, they uh, they do they do need the subsidies, like all of them. Why is it that pretty much all railways need subsidies in in this game? Long Island's what it's called. Ah, okay, thanks. I don't quite know what I'm doing wrong with my railways there, because I mean they're totally vital for the industry, so surely the industry should just pay more until they're paying enough for it. But I guess as long as I'm covering the costs, they're never going to do that. So. Afghanistan is siding with Courland. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, you know the other thing we could do, of course, is say, like, what am I short of? There's a raw resource. Opium and hardwood. So, opium. Opium is currently produced here. In India. But also... In some provinces here. And Sin. Sin, you're not a puppet. Right? No. You're a dominion of Austria. Okay. So, what about a diplomatic play to conquer the state of Sin? And then we could build a massive opium plantation there. Seems fun to me. Let's do it. Conquer state. Sin. Confirm. We're going to face Austria, Persia, Marcan, and Sindh, but hopefully not France or Russia. Okay. Seems good to me. <clears throat> also, Austria, I'd like you to pay me war reparations for daring to oppose me. War reparations from Austria. Good. And I think just my... My standard armies will be more than sufficient to fight this mighty conflict. Uh, and I will leave one in England in case we get naval invaded. Because I was naval invaded at one point and forced to surrender a war to France. Which made me lose all of Canada because of uh, forgetting to garrison <laughs> uh, Britain at all. Which was quite funny. Okay... Yeah, investing in uh, investing in other countries would definitely be a a good addition for sure. You need you to patrol the British coast. And you guys, let's go raid some Austrian convoys down here with the the titchy little navies. In fact, you know what the Iberia and Italy ones. Let's get rid of these naval bases. So we'll make a couple of radicals because people are being made unemployed, but I'm just not interested in repeatedly having to assign where these titchy little navies go. Titchy armies can be helpful. Titchy navies are just annoying. Why is it not letting me scroll down? It's very frustrating that. Okay. Yeah, this this like this interface is very I hesitate to say very, but it's poorly designed. It crams things in into far too little space. Okay. One of the easiest ways to cross a country is to liberate nations out of them. It doesn't cost any for me. Yes, so the downs, the difficulty with that uh, in the US is that I've already liberated, liberated all the countries that I can liberate from them. Um, I think... So, and Louisiana was much smaller. I was hoping it was going to be like the Louisiana Purchase area, but which would have been funny. But uh, sadly, that was not to be. This army, Russia is neutral. Wait, Austria declares neutrality? Ah, oh, not, probably not in my war. <laughs> okay, yeah, neither of those relating to my war. Fair enough. But yes, grabbing Sindh for the opium is going to be good. And then what was the other one? Hardwood. Hardwood's probably less concentrated. We are making a fair amount of it. Sweden's got tons. And yeah, we're making we're making huge amounts of it, but let's let's focus on some hardwood production. Uh some logging camps. Uh and what are we looking for? Probably some let's first find some peasants to turn into non peasants, but not at home because I want to use those peasants to do other things. 
Uh, yes, give me give me a bunch of levels of that in these places. Not the Lowlands, not Leinster. There. Give me a bunch more hardwood. Good. Okay, and then we'll we'll resolve those. Fun stuff. Uh, what would the? Oh yes, right. Not going to be a uh, not going to be a major problem. The military revolt. Anything else in here that I should worry about? Yeah, man of wars and ironclads are pretty pricey these days. Which is urban, isn't it? Yeah, shipyards. So we have a couple of shipyards on different things. Only one on ironclads right now. Steamers are quite expensive. I could move this to to this. Yeah, let's move over the West Country one and let's um let's expand some of these, but they're mostly not making money. I mean, I could also, this would make the whole industry more money, but then we're going to be, you know, steamers are going to become extremely expensive. Let's switch them all over to this, but then switch just the home country's one back. Whoops. To civilian shipbuilding. And the prices update in real time, so I think I can actually do, I can work out what a good balance is as we go. So 51, 61. Let's be about... About like that. And let's grow just the whole industry a little bit to cover the costs. Good, okay, that should uh, that should balance those things out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, Man of Wars? What wants to buy Man of Wars? Naval bases? No, 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 no. Naval bases shouldn't be using Man of Wars. They should be using Ironclads. What, which of these is requiring Man of Wars? What? None of these require well, Man of Wars, you silly game. By orders, naval base. South Bengal. Well, let's have a look. South Bengal. Wait. South Bengal. I don't own South Bengal. Ah, oh, but their naval bases is raising the price in my market. Okay, understood. I think in my, my next game I might have no one in my market. Because <laughs> that's annoying. Might be time to start sniping oil states. Well, you see, I would. But I'm pretty sure I own all the oil production in the entire world. Let me check. Also, we have a we don't have a deficit of oil. We will in, in the coming time, but Yes, I have a total monopoly on all oil producing states. Right now. Um, and we have capped out all the oil productions that are that are possible in Alberta and California, the only oil producing states. Why is this being partly highlighted on oil fields when I can't put oil fields here? But yeah, maybe I should grab Texas as well. We could start start continuing to munch through uh, the US. Ooh, hello. Someone big backs them. Italy? Oh, but I can sway them to my side. <laughs> Even though they're on their side? Because Egypt backs them. I'll give you a a Crete treaty port if you switch sides, Italy. Come on. You know you wanna. Now Russia's leaning towards them, damn it. Come on, Italy. Come on, Italy. I would I would offer you land here as well, but they don't seem to want it. Excuse me? It's way to my side and then immediately went neutral again? You what? That's weird. Well, oh yes, and Austria is obviously something we could liberate people with, but until I have a land border, like if Italy joined, we could do a big land border war against against them. Hopefully Russia doesn't join. But they probably will. Egypt joining is interesting. Oh yes, we have a land border with, it, with Egypt, of course. Uh, well, I don't think I need the people staying on the England HQ because... Oh, well, first off, I didn't mobilize them, but I don't think I need them there because we... Um, we left a navy at home, which should be fine. Our whale ports produce oil. Thank you, that's a great tip. So maybe we should do a war goal, uh, a, yeah, add a war goal against Egypt. Adding war goal seems really dangerous, though. To liberate the Ionian Islands. What? Who are they under? Greece? Oh, I guess Greece backed me. Um, yes, I'd like to conquer uh, Sinai. Please. 
for a measly four infamy, and then we're going to build the Suez Canal just for fun. Don't do it, Russia. Don't do it. They are going to do it, but... We'll still be able to win even if Russia joins. Our military is, is high-tech compared to the rest of the world. <clears throat> do, do. Rubber discovered in Malaya. Cool. I forgot I owned quite a bit of Malaya right now. Well, kind of indirectly. It's Anglo-Indian Malaya. And yes, Rubber Rush. Really, really fun event. So it's really weird. We swayed Italy, but it put them neutral. That's bizarre. And Russia didn't join. Nice. I can't add war goals in the countdown to war phase, right? No. Well, I'm glad they stayed out of it. It would have been good if we got Italy to join, because then I could have given Italy um, Venezia. Should have been fun. Anyway, we have, uh, we're going to grab the war goal in uh, Sindh, which I think should mean... Well, I don't know how it will work, because what if we have one war goal, but not the Egypt war goal? Not sure what will happen there. Oh god, 23 days before these guys arrive, that's not, that's not superb. Do, 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 do. Right, so there's new electricity things drop the price by about 20%. So we're still in a deficit. Alright, give me... Uh, me another I don't know is there a shift yes control click for 10 thank you paradox good UI decision ah except alt control doesn't put the 10 at the top of the queue bad UI design paradox but that's okay you win some you lose some give me a bunch give me another 40 electricity things war with Austria has broken out marvelous Okay. Yeah, so they're unfortunately probably going to advance a bit there, but it'll be interesting to fight through here because presumably there's very low infrastructure in the, the lower section. Yes, advancing unopposed on some of these front lines. And so, yes, we're going to capture the war goal very, very quickly as we push in there through the unopposed bits. And where we are opposed, we've got mm, okay stats advantage, but. Ooh, that's a major stats advantage. Yeah. Obviously, the stats will be balanced out by the fact that it's not just us attacking here. We'll have uh, some British Raj troops as well. Look at the size of that fight. Quite a few casualties coming in there. Okay, and we've shown up down here. Let's see how we're doing. Great statistical advantage. So they're dying and being wounded more often. Our morale is being hurt more. Uh, just because there's less of us, but that's fine. With with 70 versus 22, I'm very confident we will eventually be able to push through there. Meanwhile here, yeah, that's most of the war goal occupied. And there's that annexation. Good. And if you could just grab a few more provinces before these two, 26 show up. That would be good. Yeah, the game is pretty slow. Do do do. But that's okay. It's not, it's not disastrously slow by any means. Oh, Universal Suffrage had another setback. Damn. Let's give up on Universal Suffrage for a bit then. That's unfortunate. Oh god, I can't even do it now? Oh, right, of course, the 12 months, that's right. Uh, right, so, laws... Oh, this has stopped, stopped um, lagging now. Good. Uh, yeah, so I want to do graduated taxation. Which gives us, which just gives us a staggering quantity of extra cash. Because um, graduated income actually has you know, the same income tax rate, but it puts in a dividends tax rate. Which, by the way, I want to submit this as the contender for the worst tooltip in the game. <laughs> dividends tax rate, tooltip, dividends tax rate. <laughs> uh, it would radicalize the industrialists, so I guess we shan't do that just yet. Poor laws. Could get old age pension, but... Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't think there's much need, honestly. Oh, we could also bring in regulatory bodies or workers' protections. Enables new production methods. Interesting. And then you get the workplace safety, which gives you less dangerous working conditions. Increases the minimum wage. Hmm. Don't really see the need, and there isn't a lot of support for them. Could go to public health insurance, but again, the. Industrialists are not happy about it. Charity hospitals are doing okay. 
I mean, this actually... Yeah, let's go two levels higher. That would be nice. Could get a mass conscription, too. Would give us, like, you know, another thousand divisions. <laughs> hmm. Could be fun. Armed forces oppose it. What else could be? Wealth voting. We could try, yeah, we could try census suffrage. Like, I wanted to go to Universal. But suffrage is still progress. You get a lower wealth threshold for voting. Yeah. Let's try census suffrage then. Do it by increments. That's fine. Lots of casualties in this war. Because we're trying to uh, push on so many fronts here with such high... Uh, High troop counts. Taking him away, though. Alright, pneumatic tools. Nice. More construction and more research discovery chance. Um, I should probably invent some more military tech. Although they are 24 months still. Uh, feminism. What does this unlock? Women in the workplace. Yeah, so I don't think I want to do this because the birth rate just seems bad. Like You get 10% you get more workplace ratio. Which is good. But five percent lower birth rate, you could just get more, you could just get more people rather than rather than expanding the number of people that can actually work. Feels like expected standard living from literacy. Well, that would not be a problem because everyone is living it just highly large right now. Antibiotics, multilateral alliances, uh, central planning would be good. Uh, can you change the general's HQ? I don't believe so. More minting? How much money are we making off minting at the moment? We are making a million a week off minting. So this is a hundred thousand income just from this tech. Yep, I'm sold. <laughs> that sounds good to me. There's much more product. There's loads of new production methods we also need to grab, but opium addiction. British Timbuktu gets treating opium addiction. Sure. Give it a go. Uh, da, 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 where have I got some men that I can move around? Losing their allies doing okay here. Have a bunch got shifted down here? Yes, they have. Stop fighting. Stop fighting this fight. Just try a new one. So, yeah, I mean, we did kill, like, twice as many as we lost there, so... I feel like we are going to be able to press this home for a win eventually. And, yeah, we're going to start losing a bunch because we don't occupy war goals soon, but... Sindh is almost under our control. They've messed up moving troops around on this front line, so. Looking positive there. Where have the where have my other guys gone? They've all just headed over to Egypt. If you could uh if you could come on back. That'd be good. Are you in this war? Who how, how what's the uh the diplo map mode? Like, is there a, a war relations map mode? Uh attitude? No? Uh, involved in conflict. There we go. Uh, no, I want, like, who's involved in the conflict against me. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't... Ah, there we go. I see this. It doesn't include... This. Wasn't Persia going to join at one point? They haven't, it looks like, anyway. Oh, they've got another, another bunch travelling down here. Yes, that's a problem. Launching in with that many fewer men. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to transition you to defending the front. And I'm going to put a rush job. I'm going to try something out here. Put a rush job on building. Oh, I can establish a colony somewhere. Where? Oh, right. Yes, of course, Hokkaido. We decided not to uh, not to go for Hokkaido. Uh, build me ten levels of railway right here. It's going to take what? Twenty-three weeks. Yeah. Build me ten levels of railway, and we'll see if that lets me deploy way more men into these fights. Because I've been told. That's part of the calculations. You guys are going to win that fight handily. Surely I occupy at least some of the war goal now. Yes, 33% of our war goals. Which I guess is just being calculated as one out of three here. We'll do a naval invasion for Sinai. Just grab one more here before these guys arrive. Nice. And as soon as this battle's over, 
You should definitely be able to tell generals to stop fighting before a battle is over, by the way. I mean, maybe I shouldn't stop this attack, actually, because we're inflicting such disproportionate casualties that it is still going to eventually come around to our side of things. Hmm, Sand of Living dipped a little bit. Probably got some new radicals from that. Hmm. Yes, interesting. Um, any other things I should be doing? Yes, the North CHQ is currently without a job. So, you are trolling the English HQ. Where's the other English HQ one? Didn't I make a new England, a second English Navy? I swear I did. No, I made a second English Army, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, uh, it's time to retire. The industrialists would immediately get minus two interest approval. But he has no ships. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> okay, uh, you are patrolling England, so you instead. Help me launch a naval invasion. No troops with which to perform it. What? Oh, right, sorry, he's a North, North Sea guy. Uh, okay, so instead... You could leave these 40, 49. Where are you right now? You drop Baluchas down front. Yes, we'll, we'll pinch you. Naval invasion of Sinai with Thomas. Uh, which leaves yes, vulnerable fronts around here, but fortunately, we have these chappies who can come on over. And we've discovered a little trick. If you switch what they're doing on a front, they immediately arrive on that front. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, of course, exploitative, but the system of moving troops around is tedious, and so I'm okay with exploiting something to make it work more fun. There we go, income tax is back, and our balance sheet is immediately uh, looking quite a bit better. Did all that hardwood construction get done, by the way? Looks like it. How are we doing on hardwood? Still 31%. Hmm. Well, we're working on it, and yeah, now Man of Wars are becoming critical, but there's barely any Vi Orders, and they're not mine. Yes. Teleporting troops around does make, uh, does make the movement, unit movement much less tedious. Ah, oh, I've just realized something. This is... Who's this? Marakan is occupying it. Oh, Marakan, no, Marakan is in the war against me. Okay, so we will be able to... Marakan has occupied land off Sindh, interestingly here. Is that a three-way war? Is that what's going on here? Not sure. Not entirely sure. Oh, they will fight. Uh, it looks like it's not mostly my fight. It's the the Raj. Run by Austria? What happened? Oh, they just had more more dudes. Okay. Well, that's not good. Uh, they're probably not going to invade the home islands. So let's send, let's send a big fleet here. You are going Central Mediterranean, yes, yes. So instead, well, no, stay, stay there, but backed up now. And this fight is going our way. Get this Egypt, good. Yes, frontline splitting is uh, it's frustrating. Oh, hey, rubber rush. Okay, pushing in here. Yeah, lots of good wins against terrible stats. Good. And yeah, loads of us up here. How are we going on the Egyptian front? Are we pushed in yet? Yeah, we are slowly making progress. It's, it's a bleeding front. Can we see, like, uh, historical casualties on just this front? Looks like no, sadly. But yes, we are uh, even fighting two to one. We're inflicting very heavy casualties. We should probably, I mean, well, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. So our current spending on military goods is 111. Nice and easy to remember. And if I switch this over to field hospitals. Well don't do it on don't do it on conscription tests because we're not using conscription, but it was 111. It's now 160. I mean, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. They are gonna get throughput issues, I think, on these. Oh yes, and I should probably be paying the military a bit. <laughs> Because they don't recruit when they're not being paid. But yes, getting the bonus 25%, so, sorry, 75% recovery rate is uh, is good. Stopping them from becoming uh, dependents. 
will be good. If possible. <laughs> You're playing as Italy and you have no peasants anymore. Lack of pops is your main limiting factor. Have you gone, um, what do you call it? Uh, multicultural yet? Multiculturalism? It's really good. Why did I just making, start making so much more money? I just got an extra 400,000. It wasn't the income tax that's coming back. Minting hasn't gone up. Did a diplomatic pack just go nuts? Oh, it's because I'm no longer building um, ports, which means we can get more of an investment fund transfer. That's what it is. Okay, and it looks like we might get universal suffrage done. Oh, hey, 1.1 on the old GDP. Nice. Look at this fight. Inflicting mad casualty ratios. Look at that, we're taking like <laughs> one person for every hundred now. It's crazy. All oh, right, thank you. Welcome, welcome. We're playing some... Ooh, what's this? Subjugate Morocco. Fine. We're playing some slightly laggy... <laughs> Uh, Victoria 3, it is a good time. But yes, welcome. Good to have you. We are uh, we were short on uh, opium. We're going to be even more short on it in a minute. If we take a look at our, uh, our opium situation. No, not in the Austrian market. Where's it gone? Surely opium is priced really highly in our market. No? How the hell are you getting... How do we have 5,000 opium? Oh, right, I forget, because these are technically in my market. Right. And we now have sense of suffrage. Cool. Good stuff. Industrialists are peeved, but they can forget it. Are you a British Dominion still? That's quite a funny question. I agree, it's a weird flag, but we're actually Britain. <laughs> I don't mean to insult you, but... Yeah, we're Britain. This is, I don't know why we have the Hungarian flag, <laughs> but we do. Oh, I know why, because it's the Republican flag. But yeah, so I, opium was really expensive when I started this war for the express purpose of acquiring more opium. And now it's cheap as hell. Oh yes, right, and I naval invaded up here. I completely forgot about that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oh, nice, we struck oil. Oh, in California, right, yeah. Uh, oil industry expenses up. No, we don't need it. I wish I could do neither. We already have full employment in our huge oil rig. Oh, but it did ex just got expanded. Uh, yeah, so I can't use the... Nice, did this one get bigger as well? Yes, and they are actually short on uh, people up here. I could tear down the other industries in the area just to try and increase the number of, uh, of people. Shopkeepers in urban center with one qualifying mechanist aren't willing to work. A wage of 21 bucks. Well, give them more then. I oh, know, sorry, don't gonna diss me. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to diss you. All right, so we're roaming through Egypt, no problem. The grinding battles down here are uh, not going to be the decisive ones in the end. And of course, all my two, two troops have just vanished off these fronts, probably on their way down here. Yeah, give me those hundred. They can come over here. We will yoink them there immediately. Oh, I need more than that as well. Give me these 77. Do, 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 do. Oops. No, they must be on this front. British Empire seems unassailable as anyone except France. Yeah, well, I mean, I will... Um, I'll probably be my goal in my next campaign. We're going to try playing as... Hey, we stamped out monarchism. Nice. British Republic has maintained a Republican form of government for many years now. The high-worn kings ruled their elite peasantry atop a guild of thrones. Over! We will put this past behind us. They lose paternalistic and elitist, and they no longer have it. They change their ideology. Or well, there's no harm in nostalgia. No, we put the past behind us. No no going back to monarchy. And I should... What does being low on authority get you? lose you? Opposition interest approval. That's not that bad. I bet there's a situation where you can just get enough loyalists and then use state actions willy-nilly without worrying about uh, without worrying about lowering the opposition interest rate approval. In fact, you could also just put everyone in government. 
How do you weaken Asia? Uh, UK, uh, UK rather? I don't know, to be honest. I'm not, uh, I'm not good at this game yet. I'm just getting there. I'm getting there. What are we short on now? Okay, opium map went up again. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that market price fluctuation. That's weird. But yeah, glass is the big one now. We do have quite a bit of money, but I'd rather build up a, uh, a little bit of a reserve before we build more construction centers, I think. We're on the best stuff here, aren't we? Yeah. Well, actually, this makes less... I could just switch them to glass production rather than porcelain. That actually seems like a good idea. Wait, what? Porcelain, we'd make 6,000 less and that would lower the price? You what? Chum? How on earth would lowering the production of porcelain lower the price? Does this also consume porcelain? <laughs> what is that about? It would crush our dye market if we did this. And we do need the porcelain. Right, we're not, uh, yeah, we're still above price, we're above base price on porcelain as well. Let's just, uh, let's just crank these a bit. I think that seems fine. Give me a ton of those. Good. And yeah, actually, let's just kind of, kind of go for it. There's plenty of peasants in those areas that we can uh, still provide jobs. Yep, crushing them on these front fronts. Good. Crush them up here too. Good. And there has been no more battles at sea. Fine. Yep. Easy wins. Easy wins as we roam through here and not even opposing us up here. Good. And then we've all it down to one front here where we are crushing them. Good. Which will give us this war goal. And uh, I want it all, I'm afraid, chaps. So yeah, Austria is obviously going to be the hard one to push out. Um... Naval invading against them seems really hard. They have a lot of troops. But we'll give it a go. And we got Sinai. Good. So now Sinai, we need to um, encourage immigration. So what I'm going to do is build a bunch of stuff and then subsidize it all. Um, so that there's jobs here. And because we, we need to increase the population here so that there's enough people to work in the Suez Canal when we build it. Speaking of which, let's survey the Suez Isthmus. We need another 800. Have we got any taxation capacity shortages? No. We need another 800. Um, what should we call it? Taxation capacity. That's about six, maybe. Probably will get us that. So nice, Sinai is all mine. And yeah, there is some struggling going on here, probably because there's no work, but that's okay. We will work on that. And yes, we will incorporate it as a, as a proper region. 21 years? Jesus Christ. Why 21 years? The homelands have nothing in common. What do you mean they have nothing in common? We have multiculturalism. We have something in common with all men. Gold rush in New South Wales. Hmm. Where's New South Wales again? Here it is. Nice. Got some gold fields. Sorry, gold mines going on there, but they're already at max size, sadly. Fun. Oh, I never incorporated this area? Oh, I didn't. Everywhere gets incorporated. Everywhere. Oops. I thought I already did this, but... We do not discriminate on the basis of who gets incorporated. We just incorporate literally everybody. Good. That's another, another 2,000 or something that we're going to need. Okay. Give me maybe 20 more. That should be enough, right? We're getting 10,000 out of 60. So another 20 is one third of that, which is another 3,000 plus a bit. Should be fine. So we'll have that sorted in 14 weeks. Till then, we'll just eat the tax waste. Seems fine. 
The dream. Yes, that's fine. Oh uh, yeah, you know, that's another event we should get rid of. Gold found, gold lost. The dream event. Just fires every time you get a freaking gold rush, and it's no fun. What did I just invent? I didn't read it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> what did I invent? Was it? It was one of the, probably one of these. Was it pneumatic, pneumatic tools? No, we already had that. Was it electric art process? I don't think so. Ah, it was probably monitors, wasn't it? Monitor for naval base. Oh, and the barracks have all gone thrown off again. That's fine. Oh, sorry, not motorized reconnaissance. That will, that will ruin me. So monitors just uses more ironclads, more ammunition. That's fine. Ammunition is pretty cheap. So, sure. Go with some monitors. It's going to cost me more cash, of course, but that ain't no problem. So we could do an invasion against uh, Austria. And, you know, why not? It's my, it's my motto. Let's launch some naval invasions. And by some naval invasions, I mean literally all the naval invasions we can do. And then whoever's left should continue fighting over here. Yes, good. If we could get some more reps off against Austria, you know, wouldn't hurt. Plus, just seeing if we can do this naval invasion. God, Austria is... Oh, no, I was going to say it's super industrialized, but it's not, actually. It's just that it's got an absolutely massive naval base. <laughs> wow, they're, they're unhappy, huh? Do these red flags mean something? Is that level of turmoil that causes that effect? Probably is. Vulnerable front guinea. What? You have a front in guinea? Which guinea? What are you talking about, game? Ah, okay, it's because the US started to play against me and I only just noticed. Hello, US. What do you, what do you want? You want Utah, Ontario, and Russia has joined in and wants to subjugate Hanover. Okay. Well, New England will join. Uh, let's offer them Conquer State, New York. No, they won't take it. <laughs> Would have been fun, though. What do you, what do you want? An obligate? Oh, I can call in my obligation. Hmm. Well, I'd rather add my own war goal. How infamous am I these days? 75. That's pretty high. Uh, I want Alaska. Do, 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 do. Alaska. And oh, I should be able to see my infamy on that, that tooltip. That puts us with 10 infamy left. What can I do? You know what I could do? I could liberate countries on Russia and then start a big land war in Russia. I hear that goes really well. How about we liberate Texas and then we puppet Texas and then we annex Texas? <laughs> yeah. Let's liberate Texas. Uh, war reps. Well, don't war I don't think I need war reps off the US. That's fine. Liberate Michigan. Liberate. We're out of place. Okay. Fine. So, remember those naval invasions? New plan. We're calling them off. We're gonna white peace with the uh, with the Americans. And by Americans, I mean Austrians. Austria. I. Oh, you're willing to take this peace deal right now. Why can't I propose it? That's odd. Can I propose it if I offer you what you want as well? No. Why can't I offer this peace deal? I can't, I can't propose anything. Ho-hum. That's curious. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, US, are you mobilizing? Probably, right? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, you guys, we're going to start with some defensive fronts. You small, small army. Let's do a, let's do a sneak attack from, from East Long Island. This world's borders are just miserable. What are you talking about? 
You don't like the uh, the beautiful, beautiful North American borders I've created. I think they're majestic. I'm hoping there'll be no one on the Russian front here. So very much suspecting that, in fact. All right, good. And then we should win this fight, this war, pretty soon, and we can send over the people from this as well. What I've not done in this game very well has got any great power allies. Are we going to win this? We actually might win it. 15 against 37. Nice. I should probably get some more military tech. I would like to try and get to the point where I can ignore the infamy cap. That would be fun. Come on, I need those bureaucracy buildings. Four more weeks. Six more weeks. Yeah. Everyone's hating me because I'm taking so much infamy, I think. Is the problem. Why are they not taking this peace deal? I don't I don't really understand what's going on there. They would accept this peace deal. They have no they have literally zero war support. So maybe it's just bugged? Don't know. Do not know. And yeah, Austria never seems to, sorry, Austria. Russia never seems to send people to Russia. Uh, sorry, to Alaska. Um Maybe they're scared? In which case, I mean yeah, fair play to them. No one else backing him? I would like New England to join for the infra extra infrastructure on this border. So sure. I'll call in my obligation. You guys can defend the front of New York. Have we finally won down here? Restart the game, maybe? That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll pause recording restart real quick. Weird. Well, I found the solution. It was not restarting. You just click set white piece and then select your options. Then you can do it. So there's the piece, Austria. You will accept it. You will accept it. Excuse me. Austria. 25 days. Propose piece of deal in a war you're in. Yes, I, I accept it, obviously. I proposed it. If you're negotiating war, you can signal your favor to the peace deal or your end to the negotiations. No, no, I want to. I mean, why isn't the peace deal firing? It seems it seems like the game thinks it needs me to accept it. But I, I already do. Well, we'll see what happens in 10 days. I mean, I want these troops elsewhere. Enforced on Macan. Okay, which course just immediately removed my troops from it silly goose don't do that bring them back there's the war with the US two arms three days two days one day it didn't work looks like this one may be bugs oh now doing this isn't working either. all right I will try restarting the game then all right, we're back. Can we peace out, please, game? That's frustrating. Um, when is the, the... The only way I can force the war to end is by getting them to 100%, right? Huh. Okay, well, I guess we just leave this war running for ages. Are we losing wars abort? Yeah, just from base decay and, and you know, our 5% radicals. Ah... Uh, well, I mean, I could white peace. No, actually, I can't even white peace them. I can't even surrender. Okay, well, that's kind of infuriating. Uh, you know what I might be able to do, though? Oh, no. I forgot that this has the bad, much less good version of the debug menu, so I can't just tag to Austria and then propose the pieces then. Well, you know what? Let's just fight the war against America and not worry about it. That's my plan. Advance. No, not advance front, sorry. Defend this front. Oh, it's already on the way there. Advance this front. And defend this front. And you defend this front. Uh, okay, who else? I mean, we're pushing into Alaska, of course. <clears throat> Dorset says you have to wait until sending another proposal. Bug will probably happen again, though. Ah, oh, that's a good point. I didn't notice that. Let's wait until May before proposing another people. What? Why? <laughs> You have to wait like six months before proposing another PCL? That's ridiculous. 
Okay, well, but that's good to know. Cool. So restarting might yet have fixed the problem. Anyway. Uh, you're still advancing the Gujarat Singh front? I thought, we already, I thought we won this battle already. Anyhow. Uh, right, we're defending here. That seems foolish. Let's push. There's barely any of them. I guess they're uh, desperately trying to put enough men to cover this front. Oh, no, 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 don't don't advance there. Just, just defend. That's fine. So he pushed in and took the uh, control of this one little province in uh, America and Utah. Hey, look, it actually gave us a fight we could win. It's generous. Unusual. <clears throat> so it looks like I might be able to rush in and uh, capture their capital, which will force them to uh, start getting some actual war exhaustion. I don't think we've ever managed to get war exhaustion ticking against the US in this game. Even though we fought the US, like, I mean, a lot of times. Just a, just a lot of times. <laughs> and Russia, too. I've occupied Alaska probably dozens of times. Uh, how are we doing? Oil production still capped. Still capped, but not able to employ enough people. Mm. Do any of these employ less people? Yeah, this one does. But it employs so many fewer people. I could make it substitution, which would mean that we need less capitalists, but... Chaz says they get the distinct impression it would be very easy to do a world conquest. Well, the difficulty is partly, I think, the higher infamy goes, the higher you get radicals from conquest. And so if we started getting crap tons of radicals from conquest, that would definitely cause problems. Hard times in Sinai. Oh, excellent. An ex emergency release fund in Sinai. Which gives minus 25% decree cost. What? That's insanely overpowered. What the hell? What? 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 <laughs> that just gave us like a free extra decree. Well, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, emergency decree. Emergency relief in Sinai. Sure. And a migration campaign. I can't because it's not an it's an isolated state region. Okay, what makes it isolated again? Uh, it's isolated. Its market is not connected by land to its market capital, and it's not connected to a port. Well, I'm working on it. We've got some ports coming. Then we'll do that, I guess. Until then, uh, just yeah, do some. Encouraging industry. Wow, that's really OP. Yeah, I thought I assumed the port we were building there was already built, was why I was confused about that, but I see now that it's an ongoing project. And there we go, back in the uh, bureaucracy green from our new new te 20 uh, things. That's good. And yeah, still winning here. Which means we'll then we'll just be able to enforce this on them, which means it will then just be a war rep dealio. Can't do it until 19th. Why on earth would you make the player wait, like, what was that, four months, five months, before they can do a second peace deal? That seems, I mean, very bizarre. But, I mean, yeah, not even, like, bad design, just bizarre. I don't, I don't understand it. What's the, what's the reasoning there? Do, 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 do. Just make sure everything's still auto expanding apace. And make sure everything in Sinai is entirely subsidized. I don't care if you make no money in Sinai. Oh, I just that's I just turned all this off. That's my bad. I don't care if you make no money in Sinai, I just need you to provide employment. Okay, and there's the ports. Which means I can cancel that. And I can do a greener grass campaign in Sinai. Good. It's got low migrant attraction right now, sadly. Because there's high turmoil. It's high turmoil because there's loads of radicals from conquest, I have to imagine. But I bet they're all going to leave. And then we can replace them, maybe. I like that. The clout, is, the clout of the Anglican church is pretty high amongst this 97%. Sunni and Shiite group. <laughs> that is that is pretty funny. 
I'm gonna put that on the I'm gonna put that on the subreddit. <laughs> anyway, we're back. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully with the with that I mean the turmoil the the pops here. We actually look at them. How do I see like how radical they are? How do I see that? I think, do I have to go into like the mines and then look at the workers? There's no one even here. Like these engineers. They're really struggling. I don't know how I could possibly improve that, though, really. Hmm. We'll see. I think with long enough subsidies, their wages will go up and stuff. We should be able to, to help things out there. We need to raise standard of living in your... Wait, raise the whole standard of living in your whole nation by three points just because of Sinai? What are you on about, game? That's ludicrous. America is immediately losing because the enemy controls 50% of their war goals, which would be Alaska, I suspect. And who are we liberating this time? Texas and Michigan. Cool. And then we're going to, yeah, that's right. The plan is to puppet uh, Texas and then annex a puppet. The Californian pipeline. Pipeline funded. That would be good for my, for the industrious lovers again anyway. Uh, gets oil pipeline permanently. Funding pipeline permanently. Just, I mean, 2,900 is nothing, so. Yeah, sure. A dazzling souvenir. The imminent opening of the exhibition. 15% weekly innovation multiplier. Or, innovation multiplier for society. Okay, uh, what am I doing right now? Society. So we'll just stick on society for now. Great, breaking through there, and also, I guess I can bring five of these guys over. And we could start pushing this one too. Ah, fight going against me there, but there will be others. There will be others. And there's the extra minting. We will just uh, yoink him down there. Post migration, don't care. We'll do another society research because we just got that modifier. Tax capacity is nice. Uh, none of these seem that good. Yeah, I shouldn't. Have, I should have gone with production. None of these seem very useful. Let's do tax capacity. Low market access in. Ooh, quite a few important places. Okay, let's take a look with a. The old railway hammer and just crank anywhere that's having problems. Nowhere in the home counties, I hope. No. Anywhere around here. Yeah, Gambia still. I mean, sorry, Niger Delta still. I'm surprised. Right, can't I just do this? Oh, no, it's not because they can write, because it's not they're short of. No, it will be short of. It will be because they're short of infrastructure. Oh, this mod's going to make this process so much easier. California is really quite short. In these places that are at one might as well get a little, little, you know, a little Saharan railway. Why not? Hey Austria, peace out, you morons. There is a prose piece that will be rejected or accepted depending on the response of all negotiations. Is it? I mean, it says will likely agree. Is that a thing? Is there actually a dice roll? element that I'm unaware of. There shouldn't be. I mean, that would be very poor design, but maybe that's possible. I mean, I don't need to advance any front other than this front as long as they're uh, just going to let me put all this push in here. Alaska's being yoinked. How's the fight going here? Ah, looks like well. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, America. Not willing to accept anything. Oh, hey, Communist Party, cool. Do we have a journal about that? And that's this. Uh, da, 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 da. Politics, government. Who's in the Communist Party? The rural folk, interestingly. <laughs> okay. And they are communist. Right, that means they're going to love me. Alright, they don't like the whole colonial exploitation thing. Yeah. It's a good point, actually. Colonial exploitation this is kind of useless to us right now. 
Resettlement would be much better. I mean, we want to go to no colonial affairs, but I just don't want to for that because it'll disable the colonial affairs um, institution. But we don't need the colonial affairs institution for much longer. We've almost finished colonizing. Once we've finished, we'll obviously go back to no colonial affairs. So this war with Austria is just uh, bugged. So I'm going to take radical steps and use the console to end it. I don't know why it's bugged, but we'll see. All right, it looks like we could actually do it without the console. But then we just switch back to the UK. And we haven't unpaused. Usually the AI doesn't make any decisions when you're unpaused. So hopefully it hasn't ruined my construction queue or whatever. And then turn off debug mode. Oh, it has done something interesting to me. <laughs> this, but that's hopefully in three days. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so it was because Sinai had to make a decision on piecing out, but actually they didn't because they weren't a... They were puppets. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So save it again, and I will go turn off the mod. Okay, and we're back, and it should now work. Piece me out. Brilliant. What's this? Create treaty for... Oh, yes, right. Hang on. <laughs> it pressed Italy's war goal even though they didn't join the war? Where did they try to go? No, no, it didn't. It didn't. Okay, sorry. There's no tick there. I'm just I'm just being silly. Okay. <laughs> right, so is uh, opium still expensive? It's actually not. Like, at all. Oh, it's not sorted, this list. Yes, okay. Opium is super expensive. So, we have a 3,000 deficit, I think I just saw. Right now, this is making only 200. Prepare yourself to make a lot more than that. Beautiful. Use rail transportation, automatic irrigation, become publicly traded. It's all going to kick off. Why does publicly traded change the number of engines you can have? That's odd. Anyway. Yeah. Crank it. Crank it, crank it, crank it, and that will that will really help. <clears throat> and small arms, hardwood tools. Small arms, that surprises me. I guess our arms industries are pretty focused on the uh, larger weapons, but I think a pretty substantial increase to those is, is pretty warranted. Oh no! Switching countries turned off all my auto expands. Oh. That's frustrating. And it's ruined my urban center settings. Is it, I wonder if it's... Oh, no. Okay, that's the right one. Has it changed all my settings? Oh, the bastard thing it has. It's changed some of them, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Irritating. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Oh, actually, that might not have been that. It might have been the fact that there are some in our newly conquered places, actually. Good. I'm glad I didn't go off on one too hard, then. <laughs> How's the electricity price going? I should check if we need to uh, expand the size of the sun we have going in Ireland. This is, this is a very silly gameplay loop, by the way. Having to go through and click these every time. Presumably, they'll, they'll create some way to make it so that there's at least a preferred setting. I'd also kind of like it if you could break down this list more than just rural urban development, etc. If you could have ones like these plantations grouped, that would be handy. Don't mess with what's subsidized. Okay. Good, good. So, Sind. Also, want to incorporate it. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of radicals there for a while. But they'll get over it. Because I'm going to dramatically improve their quality of life. Which they will then love me forever for. Right, now we're just fighting the US. And still just doing defensive over here. Aggressive over here. And finishing up taking Alaska. Fine. Looking pretty good. And we didn't add any war goals against Russia in the end, did we? Should probably uh, go against them at the end. 
No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was the switch that did it. I think it was just because we conquered some new land. Oh, hey, an election. How are things going? The Communist Party has massive momentum. Oh no, sorry, I read that the wrong way around. The Pellate Party has all the momentum. Cool. Uh, shall I reform the? Oh, wait, are we passing any laws right now? No. Okay, right, let's pass a law. Uh, we got census suffrage done. Right, yeah, what did that do to the uh, clout of our people? Industrialists didn't seem to have much impact, actually. Interesting. I guess it will after the election, maybe? Uh, I am tempted to go to laissez-faire, which will... I think it reduces the amount of things I can subsidize. Only infrastructure and trade centers. But we go from... 25% investment pool contribution to 50%. And when it says 25% investment pool contribution, by the way, it's not very clear, but if you have a rye farm that's publicly traded and it makes a weekly balance of 6K, right now, um, it's putting um, a certain amount of that into the investment pool, right? And we can, which which is the totality of how you get the investment pool, I think. It's capitalists' revenue. So we can double the amount in our investment pool by going to laissez-faire, which will give us two million. So let's do that. This seems like it's going to be a complete money printer. And once that goes to two million, I can double the size of our construction sector and our GDP can go parabolic again. Because right now, as you can see, it's not being, uh, it's not exactly growing much. Although actually, maybe those straight lines are just because I just loaded in. I think actually these are just, uh, stored in temporary files. Yes, the trade unions do not like that, which is bad. Hurting the workforce ratio is pretty significant and, and negative, but it's okay. We can live with it. Once we get it passed, they'll, they'll get over it. And yeah, the Pellet Party, the fact that it includes the intelligence and justice and the work, uh, trade unionists aren't even in a party is it's curious. It's curious to me. Hey, US. Return Utah. You never owned Utah, you Manifest Destiny gits. Just watched an excellent video on this subject. <laughs> nice. We've got automatic bottle brewers. It's going to complete something in our, uh, sorry, bottle blowers. Presumably that's going to make, yeah, wow. It's going to employ one, half a million less people in exchange for a ton more oil. Nice. It's probably going to crank the price of oil, I'm guessing. We've struck oil anywhere else? No. Well, this war is one step on the way to getting us Texas, so that will uh, that will help solve that problem. Do 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 like the Victoria soundtrack. What was that? Generous donations. We accept the donations. Oh, oh okay. I've received notes of the horrors of the cities in the Sinaix are doing. They can give us some donations. And the only islands like us all we rely on internal donations. Intelligentsia approval. These give more levels of standard of living, but making the intelligentsia like us seems good. We'll take some more stand yeah, look at that. Extra clout gave us more passing chance on our laissez faire. How are things going here? Turmoil? Should be coming down. Yeah, law enforcement's helping. Devastation's coming down a lot. That's good. And there we go. We've cranked the size of this. It's still making a profit, but it has collapsed the price of opium. Excellent. Look at that. Managed to get it 44% down versus the base price. Excellent stuff. Sorry, bicycle reconnaissance. And then we should also probably... Mm, should maybe do this? I'm going to increase the price of opium straight back up again. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, what are we doing right now? We've got mostly industrial, but then like one military port, I think. No? No, they should all be industrial. I think that's right. Yeah, that actually increases industrial uh, uh, employment, in fact. So. Uh, Bureaucracy's still not okay. Huh. Give me... Oh, it's still still under construction. Fine, fine. And yes, our push is into 
America are going well. We will need to take... Oh, no, we have a war goal, so we will be able to push them into negative exhaustion. Um, just fine. Good. What's this? Oh, yes, right. So you need to be my uh, puppet again. Oh, the Sumatran Uprising. Interesting. Well, don't split into two parts. It'll take me more in for me to annex you. Which would be a pain. Oh, some of our titchy... One of our titchy armies launched an offensive here. Don't do that. That's, don't do that. That's very silly. Come over here instead. Where the Americans are, for some reason, just not defending themselves. As soon as we lose this fight... Do you, he's got a bunch of modifiers. What are these? Ah, oh, right. Winning battle, willing victories makes them more popular. Interesting. That's something you could use to your advantage, actually, I guess. If you, uh... You know, if you knew what general was fighting where, you could make sure a certain general won a bunch of victories and then made them made them way more popular. You could, uh, you know, push up one particular interest group's thing that way. Hey, we got a national anthem. Cool. Do -do -do -do. Excuse me, America. Your war support should be able to go negative. Because we don't hold their capital and the following war goals are not occupied. Texas and Michigan. Ah! Humbug. Well, we should have their capital soon. Two days? Unacceptable. Be here immediately. Let's force them to spread out. At which point we should be able to push them all the way along. Ah, two, seven versus twelve. Come on, man. Surely we have enough, uh, enough stuff here. Russia, will you... I don't think we can force Russia out for conquer Alaska, can we? No, they really don't want to do that. But their war support can go below zero. Because we have the uh, we have the war goal. So, new situation. The trade unions uh, are going to kick out of government, I think. And we'll bring the Communist Party in. Because we never did get total separation, right? No, I did get total separation. Okay. Uh, do I want to put the Communist Party in power? Isolationist. They endorse closed borders. Interesting. They are particularist. Uh, they endorse national militia. They oppose my laissez faire, though. No, we're not going to bring them in then. Uh, any of you oppose, uh, support laissez faire? Meritocratic? Per capita proportional taxation. Patriotic. And reactionary. Endorse ethno state. Uh, let's just keep it as it is. I think. I think I'm pretty happy with our our current government state. Honestly, looks like laissez faire is going to pass. So, and yeah, these fights not all going in my favour. How's this one? Yeah, our stats aren't quite there on that one, but overall, oh, now it's consolidated down. That's going to be interesting. You five can go back up here. But yeah, they're, uh, it's weird the way it calculates fronts. So we should still be able to push in on the this one. Which I think they're deprioritizing because they know that um, New England is less strong, I guess. But gold fields depleted. Quick. I need two pop-ups two pop ups and an alert immediately. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, uh, prices. Luxury furniture and tools. And opium still up there. It's incredible. Well, there's the other way to improve opium, which is just to, you know, build it in existing places. We don't have any. It's the only opium producer. You're still making bank? Yeah. Well, um, don't really know what I can do with that, about that then. Because I can't, I can't encourage the British Raj to produce more. I could import some. Import lots of things, but we do not import. We build our own tooling workshops. The existing ones, somewhere where there's lots of space to grow and still some productivity. Give it to me there. Give it to me here. We are going to crush the price of tools. It's important for our economy to get tools at a good price. Don't stop. Give me tools. Okay. We'll go with that. Now, what was the other one? Oh, yes. Luxury furniture. What's what's the uh, 
set up on our stuff right now. We are doing precision tools, which does yeah tons of luxury furniture. I guess our people just want lots of furniture, huh? All right, New Brunswick's going to crank it out. No workers there, so I probably shouldn't do it there. Uh, Lancashire, well, I don't want to do it there. Who has a bunch of peasants? West Country. West Country, congratulations. You're going to have a ton of new ones. Low Country, you haven't got as many. Not many peasants around, huh? I would have expected I have a bunch in my uh, my African holdings, but uh, I guess not. Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah, so this is the problem. Like, look at all these cultures. Very silly. Profession. Yeah, there's thousands of peasants here. Why can't I build it here? I can. That's odd. Maybe because there weren't enough qualifications it wasn't proposing there. But we'll build it there and then just see how it grows. We now have laissez-faire. So let's see our, if our temporary investment transfer does indeed skyrocket. 1.13... Ah, with a with a change of yeah, okay, so it has gone up by about five hundred k. Okay, well, you know what that means. The construction sector is not big enough, so I want to put it where there are. Is someone employed in the West Country? Really? Well, we want to put them around here because there's plenty of peasants, and the wages are low, which means the you know the main cost for construction sectors is, um, of course, and in fact, if I put some in Sinai. The main cost is the goods, but if we can lower the, the wage costs for our constructions, we'll still be able to get a bunch more stuff done. There we go. And yeah, Canada, America and uh, Canada have been footing a lot of our construction needs. So there we go. I think, yeah, it was either the restart, the line graphs restarted when we tag switched, or it might have been the... Um, the reload. Well, have they all just broken permanently? Oh, no, okay, that one's working. Weird. I don't know why this one's not moving. It might just not have changed. Oh, the giant spike out of the, bo spike out of the box? Oh, was, the, was that on the uh, income? Yeah, that happens. That just happens. Okay, how are we going over here? Still pushing in? Yep. Good. We need to get to uh, District Columbia. It's going to be tricky. Okay. Isolated state regions. Only Fiji now. Nice. No more isolated state regions. Uh, Inherent tax capacity in... Yeah, just everywhere around here. Fine. Give me another... Just give me a round of these. Government administrations. That'll do it. How is electricity pricing? It's cheap. Only plus 9%. I like to see that. Jesus Christ, the luxury furniture need is crazy. So is tools. Freaking heck. When we play as a smaller nation, we'll definitely have to do more importing. Oh, hello. Who is this that wants to go against me? The... Mesquito Revolt. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Russia. I guess they must have colonized a little bit of this. There's a hundred of them here. Okay. Um, interesting. Oh, and Hanover has a revolt, but they're handling it. Um, Alright, I guess I'll take 100 of these guys to go and kill Russia over here. Boom. Suddenly, a hundred of me. And these ones have no one on them. So, surprise. Suddenly, the British are here. Weird. Uh, I can support 100 battalions. Yeah, I know. Um, what was I thinking? I was looking at something. Yes, this. Where are you? Ah, interesting. Victory Vault over here, huh? Okay, well, you are going to New York, so stop that and come here. They'll probably back down. We still have the numbers on the uh, New England front. 
Echoes of revolutions. Radical liberal thought. They get revolutionary hero for the trade unions or a menace. So he, this guy is presumably the leader of the trade unions. Let's hear what they have to say. Sure, I, got, I can do some radical stuff. Why not? Why not? Need more cash reserves and occupancy in my town centers. <laughs> Fine. And how are these fights going? Yes, not as good now that we don't have as many troops here. Let's pause. Let's pause the offensive here. We're so close to District Columbia. I don't want to pause it, but I also don't want to let my uh, war enthusiasm burn down through just bashing our head against a brick wall. Once we have the Russians under control, oh, which we already have. Good. Uh, well, those hundred I used... Where have they gone back to? You are from the North Sea. I don't have a North Sea fleet. That seems so unlikely. Uh, give me this guy. And then this North Sea guy. I need you to manage a naval invasion for me. You know what? We could naval invade, actually. Texas. Let's give that a go. These guys have been locked in the Civil War forever, by the way. I guess they just have, they're just, I mean, they're garrisons rather than units. <laughs> it's very silly. John Seaton, you're not idle, my man. You're in, you're in a naval invasion. Why would you think you are idle? Are these Russians? They are Russians. Interesting. Well. Let's raid convoys off the east coast here. And then those Russians will suddenly become a liability. Exquisite. Once those Russians arrive, we can actually start pushing this front. Which our allies are already trying to do, it seems. And I'm going to keep trying on the New York front. I really want to try and get the capital, of course. Ooh, they've split this up. Interesting. Uh, you guys. Come here. And you guys. Come here. Oh, darn, they were my Nicaragua guys. Uh, I'll send you guys down instead. Fine. Why aren't you advancing? Oh, is there a fight ongoing? Is that this fight? No, shouldn't be. Huh. My f my chart's working again? I guess the chart of Sando Lone just hasn't changed in a while. Yeah, GDP not making great strides. We are... Yes, now we are managing to spend all our investment pools, so I don't need to increase the size of the, uh, the construction industry anymore. Yes, yeah, so we've got an extra 500,000 a week out of going laissez-faire. That's pretty good. And we're still able to uh, subsidize where we need to, I think. Excuse me. Should not be able to auto expand gold mines. Yes, yes. Two arms. It's a very dramatic pop up for such a piddling little problem. Oh, yes, there's a fight going on here. It's just cleverly hidden behind the numbers there. Or Hanover. That's fine. No one actually supported either side particularly, so... Our old buddy Hanover should have that in the bag. Oh, look at the Prussian flag. They must have gone uh, Republican. They get a nice-looking Republican flag. Look at this monstrosity. I mean, there's a still a trickler, so... You do have to feel sorry for them on that one, but... Sorry, France. Flag sucks. Tricklers are boring. Are we at least killing... A good ratio in these? Not really. Wounding a lot more, though. Well, I'm going to keep trying. Oh, yes, we don't have a law. Um, let's try taxation again. Oh, only 13%. You know what? You know what? Fine. Intelligentsia, industrialists, get out of my government. Rural folk, you're communists. Surely you support more taxes.
a brief union of just these two are going to pass the new taxation. Excuse me? 12%? <laughs> I thought it was who was in government that mattered. Right. Sorry, rural folk. You're, you're out. These guys are back in. <laughs> That's going to cause a bunch of new radicals. <laughs> Whoops. I uh, can't really do universal suffrage. Anything else you guys want? Um, I've got a chance for private health insurance. When it says 0% mortality per wealth, what is that number actually? I don't know. Uh, oh, hello, my love. Yeah, I don't think there's any other laws we really want to do. Although we maybe want to... Uh, Hmm. Could do. Pull through private school, get more education. What's our education at? Yeah, that would uh, scap out education. But no one's willing to pass it right now. We need some more communists. And our communists need to be more communist as well. So right now, our communists don't support, like, schooling and taxing the rich and stuff, which is pretty weird kind of a defining feature, don't you think? Did that naval invasion happen and fail, by the way? Yes, it looks like it. Let's try again. If we can push over to Michigan from this northern bit here, then that'll uh, get us one of the war goals. But otherwise... Oh, hey, we did manage to enforce that on, on, on Russia. Nice. Very cool. Probably going to screw up a bunch of my uh, my things, but cool. Or will it? If there isn't many building, there aren't many buildings here, so I guess it won't actually. Uh, gold mines. Yes, please. <laughs> Seems good. And some coal mines. Sure. Any features here? Fishing industry through, but sure. Have some fishing. And some livestock. And some railway. And a couple more ports. Good. That should get Alaska going. And then auto expand all of the above. Do do do. There was that peace treaty. Can't auto expand opium plantations because already at full size. Same for silk. Good. No new oil available. Not still not having a big problem with oil prices though. So or any problem really. You two should come up here as well. Yes, it's very silly how the AI clearly doesn't calculate where it should put men based on the strength of the armies that it's facing. It's confusing. I wonder what it does calculate based on. The whole point of shuffling infantry in government. Yeah, I mean, it's weird the idea that, yes, we're in government. But we can't get this through because only a certain portion of the total clout supports it. Government should be able to push things through against the interests of the total clout and then, you know, face the consequences. Should be, you know, being voted out. Ooh, we have the numbers. The offense is terrible. Insufficient naval invasion support. Ah, okay. So what about if I use you, Norman Dixon, 100 to, to 70, 77? Hopefully that would be sufficient naval invasion support then. Seems good. See if that will give us enough support. <laughs> yes, it seems like something you wouldn't have to say, doesn't it? Government should have a majority say in the political process. <laughs> it's a very funny sentence, but I, I agree completely. <laughs> okay. I only have uh, five minutes, by the way, so we're really going to try and end this war. In fact, I'm going to try and end this war so much we're going to go speed five. We're still pushing in steadily over here. Just one battle at a time, grinding them down. We need to get to Michigan or 
District Columbia before it's actually going to make a difference. What's this then? They're attacking Punjab. It's kind of getting in on my territory. How much... Uh, they're not really... They don't have a positive balance on any... Practically any important good in their market. So I guess I don't care about them. Cross-border investments. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to annoy the industrialists. So sure. Central planning unlocked. All right, and then you guys are doing nothing right now. You have the North Sea HQ. Well, I guess you know what. I guess the North Sea HQ needs um, a ton more naval bases. Hang on, there's forty here. Why are these forty naval bases only generating? Uh, 24 ships. They're not. I'm an idiot. This guy was never promoted. Boom. Now you can launch a naval invasion here. Good. Okay. That should get us Texas. Once we have Texas, the rest should fall. Okay, uh, any more colonies to establish? No. Any more incorporations to do? Yes, of course, Alaska. Yes, Revolutionary Hanover is over. Oh, and they are attacking in, but because we're suddenly on the defensive, they're getting routed. Do need to keep an eye on that, though. Oh, and they're down to 37 here. Oh, I invented something. What did I just invent? was uh, right and more taxation capacity so back over to production for a bit houseware plastics for glassware hey more glass yes please for sure come on beat them ah six to seven with 77 to 46 come on that seems very doable to me Everyone's mobilizing. Did Ching take uh, Punjab's side? Oh, good. Well, that will at least make it a, uh, a bigger fight. I'm leaning Punjab. Hey, Punjab, give me an offer. Give me, give me Russian war reps. We're making so much freaking money. I need to spend more. I frantically trying to spend as much as I can, but still struggling. I could pay people better, or, or hit me out here massively grow the industrial sector. We could lower taxes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's cut taxes. I mean, it's, it's only costing us like 0.4. Where are all my ta money? Where's all my money coming from? It's just minting. We're just minting staggering quantities of money. Nice. Who has this completed? Yeah, I mean, okay, I'm not going to be that generous, but well, yeah, let's cut funding. I uh, cut taxes. Everyone should love us. Suez, we can build the canal. Buildings. No? State actions? Decrees? How do I build the canal? Decisions? Journal? Construct the Suez Canal. Building is Suez Canal. Yes. That's, that's what I'd like to do. Here it is. Okay. Takes 2,000 construction. And how many can you build? <laughs> I'll take 10, please. <laughs> That's funny. We'll take 10 canals. One has, you know, many problems. But 10 canals, that's a number you can trust. That's a number that we can rely upon to give us sufficient throughput access. And we have too much government administration. Ooh, telephone switchboards. Right, but I don't think I've invented... Well, the whole game seems to have suddenly slowed down. Ah, yes, don't do it on this screen. Shipyards. Sorry, yes, that's the one that's meant to be split. So we can build a telephone switchboard, which is going to take a bunch of telephones, which don't exist. And that is going to start losing. Because I don't think we, we have... The tech for telephones. No. So, don't get plastics. Instead, invent the telephone. We're still going to use it for the 14 months before we invent it. 
um, which is going to give me just a staggering amount of throughput on this. But, uh, yeah, we will lose a lot of money. So, I guess we won't use it. It's truly absurd, though, that you can just use text that you haven't invented yet. <laughs> it seems, seems bizarre to me. If you Nice, we've successfully landed in Texas. Good. You, chap, you don't need to do this naval invasion. Oh, he's already doing it. I guess he's en route. There he is, yes. Good. Okay, so the North Sea one. Let's do another naval invasion. Just to open up more fronts. In fact, go after Colombia. Oh, you guys are about to get here. Look at these split. There's my timer. I'm meant to go to bed now. Oh, we've got we have 12 men defending here. That's not great. Uh, okay, the North Sea guy, actually. Sorry, new plan. You guys, go back to raiding convoys. No hostile supply network. Are you kidding? Alright, just patrol. Patrol the New England coast. I need these guys over here. Pronto. Good. So that should... Can't go to below zero because the following... You have to occupy all your war goals before they can get any ticking? Are you kidding me? That's ludicrous. Why? Well, we should be able to get District of Columbia. Pretty soon. But I gotta go to bed, though. We're only two battles away. My wife will understand. <laughs> it is quite late. What is it? It's practically midnight. I do have work tomorrow. Did Texas actually find any oil, by the way? Not yet, but that's probably just because America doesn't have the tech for it. Backward nation that they are. After all of the many, many wars they decided to fight to try and prevent me annexing Canada. Which was already, you know, under my control. So, very silly of them, really. Alright, come on, just one more, one more battle to take Columbia. I want to see how much gets spat out when we liberate Michigan. It's probably just this day, I have to imagine, but... But it's going to be fun! Whoa, they've shown up in force here all of a sudden. Well, push this front instead, then. <laughs> But yeah, we do need to back off on that offensive. No, you went to the wrong place, and you're losing. That's not the idea. All right, which of, which are you guys? You, Pacific Coast. Pacific Coast. Naval invasion right here. Go for it. How long, how long, how many days? 46 days. I haven't got 46 days, man. I'm sorry, babe. Texas won't liberate itself. Yeah, she'd understand. Did set up tell her ten minutes though, and then set an alarm to prove that I was definitely going to wait that long. It's a little bit of relationship advice for you. When you say ten minutes at most, don't make it twenty minutes. I am going to have to go. I'm gonna, I just want all this battle to end so I can change these, but then I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You guys switch to being defensive. You advance this front instead. And you switch to defensive. Okay. But just maybe, maybe just, just, just the naval invasion, maybe? <laughs> Let's just see if the naval invasion launches. If we talk quietly, it's like time isn't passing. It's ridiculous that you have to occupy all your war goals before you can start pushing them at all. I, mean, it's, it's a, I don't know. I don't know why that was, a, someone thought that was a good idea. We have very low morale in this army, apparently. Are they actually showing us having low morale? No, they're showing us up 98%. So I don't know why we start at low morale there. Radicals should be dropping. And there's another fight in this province. Is that the naval invasion? <gasps> it is! And it's working! We got them. We... E... Got them. And now it can go down. Yeah. So we're getting 5.3. You know what? I mean, now it's going at such a pace. <laughs> <laughs> you guys switch to defensive and they're going to peace out in like what is that not very many weeks at all good <laughs> marvellous marvellous and we're up to 1.3 billion weekly GDP uh, sorry total GDP nice and we're yeah just slightly in the green which is what I want because if we ever want to go fully into the green it's trivial to do so and right now the fund the uh, investment fund is growing I'm guessing because it can't be spent on 10 simultaneous Suez canals. Annoyingly, this requires you to have work workplace occupancy of 80, of 90 rather, which building 10 of them won't help with. 
Self-propelled torpedoes. Ooh. That's cool. You can switch to torpedo boats. More offense, less defense. And more combo efficiency rating. And uses more ammo. Sure. Seems good. Does it change up the uh, shipyards at all? Doesn't look like it. 52. I could stop all these offensives, I guess. No longer necessary. Oh, this guy's automatically switched to defensive. How did that happen? I guess it's when these when these uh, fronts all split. 70. I'm going to want the reps and Texas and Michigan. No, it's the same bug, though. So do I have to go white piece and then propose it? Now will you accept it? Yay, okay, that did still work. Boom. Say hello to independent Michigan, who I will bankroll so they like me and owe me an obligation. And Texas, who I can't interact with? What? I have an interest in Dixie. Valley demands independence. No. Why can't I interact with them? We are neighbors with Texas or have interests in the same strategic regions. Is it because they have no interests set? Oh, that must be it. Hey, Michigan. Do you have any industry? No? Fine. So we don't actually care about Michigan, but we're just going to... Uh, we're just trying to deny them from the US, basically, so we're going to buddy up with them. Texas, on the other hand, I'm going to puppet. So actually, I don't want to become friends with them, do I? I want to, uh, want to conquer a state against them, but obviously we have a choose. Okay, cool, right, I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a great pleasure to have you with me. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.